Online Business Mastery. Video number four, creating an online business. Many people believe starting a business is a mysterious process. They know they want to start a business, but they don't know the first steps to take. Let's find out how to get an idea for a business and then how to take action on it. A. Finding your successful online business idea. Before you start any business, you need to decide what product or service you will provide. Do you have a hobby you can turn into a business? Do you have knowledge or skills others may want or need? So what sort of online business should you create? A good niche will tick all these boxes. Number one, you can take due care of it. Number two, you must be able to become the authority on it. Number three, you must be able to differentiate yourself. Number four, you must fulfill a need. Number five, your niche must be commercial. Number one, you must take due care of your niche. Would you be willing to write about your niche every day for six months without being paid a penny? Growing your online business takes time, hence you need to care about your niche. Number two, you must be able to become the authority on your niche. Online business is a winner-take-majority game. Choose a niche that you are credible and able to be an authority in. Number three, you must be able to differentiate yourself. You should be able to differentiate yourself in the niche so that you can beat the competition and stand out from the rest. Number four, you must fulfill a need. Do people in your desired niche have a problem? Can you solve it for them? Does solving it involve a commercial transaction taking place? If you can't confidently say yes to all three, adjust your niche idea. Number five, your niche must be commercial. While interest and passion are important, you also need to choose an idea that has a market. If no one is interested in what you have to offer, it doesn't matter how good you are at it, you won't have a business. B, finding a good niche. Once you've got a niche idea, it's time to evaluate the level of competition that you're up against. So how do you get started finding a niche? Follow these four straightforward steps. Number one, brainstorm an audience. You can do this in a few ways. Number one, choosing an audience that you represent yourself. Number two, choose an audience that you gravitate towards. Number four, work backwards and choose an audience by first picking a niche topic that interests you. Number two, identify the problems your niche audience has. Research into the problem, challenges, pain points, aspirations, and desires that your niche audience has. Number three, pick out the most profitable problems. You can do so using filters such as number one, the number of monthly searches related to a problem. Number two, the number of searches that imply intent to solve that problem. Number three, the stability of search terms related to that problem. Number four, the amount of good quality free information on the web. Number four, understand profitable problems deeply. Need to understand the language your audience uses in describing their idea solution so you can echo that language back to them in your ad copy sales page copy, etc. C. Competitor analysis in the niche. By doing a series of analysis, you can quickly filter and decide the profitable nature of a particular niche. Looking into the real statistics and by seeing the audience behavior, you can penetrate into a market very well without hassles. Number one, finding niches by keyword analysis. By doing keyword analysis, you can get to know the market behavior and the audience behavior. If you are seeing a lot of demand for a particular set of keywords, you can definitely get into the market. Number two, avoid crowd by competition analysis. The micro niche finder helps you to see the competition level for each keyword as well as the search trends. It also checks for the availability of domain names for those profitable keywords. If available, you can quickly get a domain name. Number three, look for problems and profitable audience. Number one, list down the user problems in the niche by searching the web. Number two, pick hot problems and make a solution through your website or product. Number three, 
show your website or products as a solution to the audience, profit roles. The right method of monetizing your online business will depend on your niche and the type of business you create. The best way to work out what's best for you is to just try a few different approaches. Finding niches is the very first step to build a profitable website or product. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.